This is the blockchain marketing channel. My name is Daria and I decided to summarize the year ending and give awards in various categories to projects during this beer market. So, the top 10 nominations for the version of the blockchain marketing channel in 2022. And first nomination, airdrop of the year, goes to Aptos. Aptos is the project of several ex-meta employees who started the failed Diem stablecoin. Aptos is a high project strongly supported by the crypto community. In March, they announced raising 200 million in a funding round led by a 16 debt Aptos sent its supporters who launched a testnet or minted NFTs. For each of these actions, the user could receive 150 apt. It was the first successful airdrop in a long time, creating a lot of hype. After that, free token hunters began to feel FOMO about the next successful airdrops. But until now, no one has been so generous. Next nomination is the transition of the year and it goes to Ethereum merge. In September, the transition of the Ethereum from Proof-of-Work to Proof-of-Stake and the merge of Bacon Chain with the Ethereum Proof-of-Work network happened. The Ethereum community has positioned merge as a massive upgrade to the network's core technology for years. Along with addressing the network's environmental impact, Proof-of-Stake will introduce a new way to use the Ethereum token for the form of staking. How the transition will affect blockchain technology in general and the work of specific projects, we will see soon. Next nomination is mass adoption of the year and it goes to Polygon. In 2022, Polygon became a blockchain partner for many offline businesses that dream to enter in the Web3. Facebook and Instagram, JP Morgan, Starbucks, The Walt Disney Company, Nike, Warner Music and many others use Polygon solutions. It's amazing! I recently released a video about Polygon's marketing where I talk in detail about the main factors of their success. And partnerships there occupy not the last place. You can watch the video here. And in this video, I want to share my thoughts about the marketing of Polygon Technology, one of the today's most famous blockchain projects. Next nomination is Community of the Year, and it goes to ZKSync. ZKSync is the ZK Rollup, a trustless protocol that uses cryptographic validity proofs to provide scalable and low-cost transactions on Ethereum. For several weeks in a row, the community was at the top among all presented projects on the Crew3 platform. They have almost 600,000 followers on Twitter and 300,000 in Discord. Most of them were added after the announcement of the release to the MineNet. Keep it up, I continue to follow the project. And before I share with you next six nominations, Please scroll through this video below, like it and follow the blockchain marketing channel to be informed of the most interesting about blockchain, crypto and Web3 products promotion. So, I continue to hand out the nominations and next up will be the year's disappointment. Of course, this is FTX. FTX collapsed in early November 2022 following a report by Coindesk highlighting potential leverage and solvency concerns involving trading firm Alameda Research. FTX faced a liquidity crisis and search for funds. Rival exchange Binance considered buying portions of the company, but quickly backed out. And on December 12th, Beckman Fried was arrested and jailed in the Bahamas. Many people trusted Sam so much. Next. Good nomination is Failure of the Year, and it goes to Luna. In the early hours of May 16, the night sky turned copper red and the year's solitary lunar eclipse conjured a rare blood moon. The phenomenon must have felt like a celestial joke for holders of the lunar cryptocurrency. Days earlier, the native asset of the Terra blockchain 
had failed from 80 to under 1 a token, reducing 40 billion in value. The stunning fail of the Terra stablecoin made the overall crypto market unstable, whipping out more than 200 billion in space. Next nomination is Bad Taste of the Year, and it goes, of course, to the NFT collection by Donald Trump. Former United States President Donald Trump launched the NFT collection, which sold out the day after its initial release. The cards depict Donald Trump in classic American scenes like Superman or Cowboy. The design of the cards cannot be called sophisticated or stylish. It's absolute kitsch and bad taste. But the financial success of the collection is fantastic. According to data from OpenSea, the collection's trading volume is 900 Ethereum or about $1 million. The offline brand in Web3 of the year is Gucci. Gucci has become the first mayor fashion brand to have a space dedicated to Web3 products on the Sandbox Metaverse. The new Metaverse hub will be home to Gucci's Web3 efforts, including curated NFT works, the company's previous NFTs and more. Gucci created several NFT collections, two 3,000 pieces, made activations in the Metaverse and started accepting crypto payments. Kering, the owner of Gucci, wants to be a pioneer in Web3 with plans to accept cryptocurrencies and NFTs and investment in Web3 dedicated venture capital. The company's Web3 journey began last year after collaborating with Superplastic, a platform used to create animated celebrities. DAO of the year is Ukraine DAO. Many DAOs were created in 2022 and they became a trend. But for me, Ukraine DAO was the most important. Formed by activist Alena Shevchenko, the Ukraine DAO raised more than 2,000 Ethereum in auction to sell the flag of Ukraine in the form of NFTs. The auction started on February 26 and ended on the 2nd of March. One of the participants was the OnlyFans resource which sent 500 Ethereum. Ukraine DAO now continues to be active globally and helps Ukraine win. And last nomination is Venture Fund of the Year. And uh, I will give this nomination to all venture funds investing in Web3 in 2022. It's difficult to me to single out any fund, but I want to highlight all the venture funds investing in Web3 and blockchain projects this year. Outlier Ventures, A16Z, Block Media Labs, Pantera Capital, Three Arrows Capital, Jump Crypto, Sequoia and others. You're cool. Thank you for supporting and developing the industry. I wish everyone that the coming year will bring positive news, prominent projects in Web3 and bull market trends. Happy 2023! my dear blockchain marketing people. See you next year.